as the cloud admin or root admin. And first thing you'll notice from this dashboard is this dashboard is a very infrastructure specific dashboard and as the root admin or cloud admin you have access to everything within Citrus Cloud Platform. So how do we begin to take this entire collection of resources and divide it into two domains or two zones to use the the analogy from earlier in the presentation and and how do we divide this up so that we have one set of resources that is for enterprise applications and one set of resources that's for cloud applications well to begin we're actually going to do a logical configuration. So we're going to go to domains. And every uh, cloud platform has a root domain. And underneath that, we have three in this instance. One is consumer, and that it's actually for Cloud Portal Business Manager integrations, which if you have a chance, please stop by our booth. And there's also session, sessions on Cloud Portal Business Manager as well. Um, but then what I've done is I've, go ahead, I've created two domains. One is a cloud apps domain, and one is an enterprise apps domain. And then Underneath each of those, I've created a production environment and a development environment as well. And um, what I've done here is, is, like for instance, in the development environment, well, you may not necessarily want your developers just going and creating everything willy-nilly and, and really eating up all the resources. So we've gone ahead and limited our developers. You know, you can only launch 10 instances, or you can only take uh, you know, 4 gigs of memory, or um, a certain amount of primary or secondary storage, or maybe limiting the number of snapshots as well. And, and this gives us a, a domain level control. We also can do control at, at user level, and there's many other ways. This is just one possible configuration. So again, a logical hierarchy and a logical um, uh, set to actually pin our infrastructure against. Now, how do we begin to do that? Well, if we go to the infrastructure tab, you'll notice here's how many zones, pods, and you, know, you can drill down on any different level, but I want to focus on zones for now. So here I've got two zones, just like we said earlier in the presentation, enterprise applications with one zone, cloud applications with one zone, and Zone 145 is going to be our enterprise uh, applications for, for today, and you'll notice the network type is advanced. And what we're trying to do here is match the infrastructure type to what the application expects. So in this, the, in this particular example, advanced allows us to, to, to do layer 2 VLANs, and we're going to do isolation through VLANs. Zone 137 is a basic zone, which means it's, it's kind of a flat, wide open zone, and we're going to do our security through layer 3 security groupings. Now, if I drill down on zone 145, just go to compute and storage. I just want to show you this as well. This is from the graphic earlier in the presentation. You can see the pods, the clusters, the host, primary storage, secondary storage. You can see all of these and drill down from here. And then if we go to our physical network, this shows us, here's our isolation method, VLANs, right here. And then we, can, we have different types of storage traffic. So we have storage traffic, which is uh, to and from cloud platform to our storage arrays. We have our instances, our virtual machines uh, carried over one network. And then we have our management network uh, separated out as well. And then lastly, what if we want to just see some resources? What does the health of this zone look like? And you'll notice here, oh, look, our secondary storage is 44% consumed, or our public IP addresses is 47% consumed. Some areas I might want to look at in the near future and, and keep an eye out for trends and watch if that increases or not over time. Now. If I flip over to zone 137, how do we actually do that pinning I was talking about? Well, what we can do here is we do it through something called dedication. And dedicated yes right here. Dedicated yes means this domain or this zone is dedicated to the cloud apps domain. So what we've done here is we've dedicated zone 137 to cloud apps and we've dedicated 
zone 145 to our enterprise application. So this is where we achieve that logical to physical pinning that I was talking about earlier. Now, let's go take a look at instances. Instances is interesting because there's actually a, a good bit of stuff running on, on the system and as the cloud administrator, I can see everything. So, you know, a lot of things here in one in zone 145 or enterprise application zone. And, you know, these are test beds. This could be test dev. We've got some things in 137, a little bit of everything and, and, and anything. What if we were to um, go to the users as well now? Hold on one second. And really, it's, it's under accounts here. And you'll notice at the bottom of the accounts. This is an enterprise administrator, and here is a cloud administrator. Enterprise administrator is a domain admin on the enterprise apps domain. Cloud admin is a domain administrator on the cloud apps domain. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of those. First thing you'll notice is the dashboard is, is different. This isn't an infrastructure-centric dashboard, and you'll notice there's no infrastructure button down here as well. As a domain administrator, your job isn't to worry about the infrastructure. You worry about your domain. And so you'll notice here that root isn't there anymore, cloud apps isn't there anymore. This is all about just your domain, your enterprise apps and your production and development domains. If I go look at my accounts, my enterprise admin is there as well. And then I've got Steve. Steve is in charge of the entire domain, both production and development, and Bob, who also does both production and development. But then we have Fred. Um, Fred's a great guy, but he's a developer. And we, we, we love Fred, but we don't want Fred anywhere near production. I mean, he's just one of those guys that you just don't want him anywhere near a production system. And so Fred is actually limited to development. And if we go look at our instances that are, are running, um, we're running manufacturing, we're running a CRM system, we're running Zen Desktop, we're running Exchange, we're running SAP. And lastly, we're running Fred's development applications as well. And, and the, all of the top ones are running in production. The, that last one is running in development um, because Fred launched it. And if we were to actually log out just as we got a kind of a subset of the instances, we had all those instances running before, we can only see what's dedicated to us. If Fred were to log in, Fred would only see his machine. So what we're trying to show, show you here is an isolation of resources per user and per, per application workload as well. Now what if we were to add one? Well, first thing it says is let's select a zone. Well, I can only choose my zone. I can't choose 137 because the infrastructure is dedicated to me and the one th the, the cloud infrastructure is dedicated to the cloud zone as well. So I can only choose my enterprise zone. And I'm just going to accept the defaults here. Well, and then here's networking. Here's my isolated network. Isolated network meaning that I can talk to other virtual machines in my group as well. But what if I want to get out of here? Let's go talk to, you know, this, this would be talking to a load balancer. This is, in this instance, we're integrated to uh, a physical Netscaler uh, as well. And so we're able to do load balance traffic through Netscaler to get out of this system, or we can do an isolated network internally as well. Now, let's flip over to the cloud administrator side. very similar concepts. Cloud apps is the only domain I can see. Accounts, I've got, of course, myself as the cloud administrator. I've got Cloud Claire who maintains my production systems for me, and then I've got uh, Cloud Lydia who maintains my development systems for me as well. And then lastly, we're going to go to our instances. And instances here, we're running Hadoop, we're running web, we're running you know, mobile front ends, we're running a API servers as well. We're running those things that tend to be very scalable and 
in this instance, we probably want these applications to really have that elasticity of scaling up and scaling down. And what we've shown here is one cloud in Citrix Cloud Platform in two different zones with shared pools of resources, but those shared, shared pools of resources are unique to each kind of application workload so that we can truly get an application-centric cloud. And with that, that concludes the demo. Thank you.